Hello, welcome. We want to know which statement about statistical analysis is false. Read through them and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so uh, I'm going to highlight the word false because I often forget that. We're looking for something that's not true. And to look at to find that out, let's read each one. Experiments can suggest patterns and relationships of data. Well, of course they can, right? An experiment, the goal of an experiment is to figure out what's going on. So uh, even if it's not a conclusive experiment, you can derive patterns from it and look at relationships uh, for any experiment. Two, experiments can determine cause and affect relationships. Absolutely, right? The whole purpose of an experiment is to isolate something and figure out um, if it is causing something, not just if it's associated with, with it. To use a bad example, um, one of the regions they have a toothpaste with a unique ingredient. So they ask you to write out a way to set up an experiment with that ingredient and you split the people into groups, give one of the groups the toothpaste with the special ingredient. So say we have one group here and they have the toothpaste with the special ingredient and then another group we have the toothpaste, let's say it's regular, no special ingredient. Because there's only one difference between these two groups, and supposedly the groups are large enough to be somewhat random, and there's a bunch of people trying the special ingredient, a bunch of people not trying the spe special ingredient, you can then measure something about the results of them brushing their teeth and try to make some conclusion about that special ingredient. You can do that because you've isolated that variable. You've controlled, you have a control group, that does not have anything different in it, and a group with just the one variable. And because you've isolated or tried to isolate one variable, you might be able to say something about that special ingredient. That's what cause and effect is about. But in three and four, we've had observational studies. Um, those cannot determine cause and effect relationships. Um, so in the toothpaste example, you, know, you have a bunch of people, but you're just observing them brush their teeth, right? You can't you can't tell them which toothpaste to, to use. Right? You can maybe put both of them in the room, and of course, and that's an experiment in itself, but the idea is that if you're just watching people brush their teeth, they could use any toothpaste they want. It could be the one with a special ingredient, it could be a regular toothpaste, toothpaste, or any other toothpaste they want. I guess if you just put, put, I should step back for a second, if you just put the special ingredient and regular toothpaste in a room and just gave them those two choices, that would be an experiment itself. Observational would just be let people brush their teeth, watch what they're doing, and take some notes, right? Um, you can't determine cause and effect relationship there because you're not isolating anything. You're just making some observations. So what's the point of that? Well, four is actually true. Four says observational studies can suggest patterns and relationships in data. That's true, so I'm going to cross it out. If you're just watching people brush their teeth, you might learn a little bit about how people brush their teeth, and you might notice a pattern. Maybe people with white toothpaste tend to brush longer. Does it mean that's the reason it's happening? No, you don't really know that, but you can say you have observed it, and that observational study might lead to a future experiment. All right, I hope this helped.